What is going on everyone and welcome to another episode of Black Desert. So I want to use this video as a guide to see where we're starting and it's going to be what we're going to be going for in November. So like a start and end and see where we made progress. So overall right now we're starting with let's just say 48 billion and my goal for November is to just get as much silver as I possibly can and our goal for progression is getting a pen tungrad earring or ring and preferably I would like to you know not have to spend more than 104 so hopefully it goes down and remember those times when pen tungrad rings were like 80 billion yeah I want that again so yeah before we do that we have a few things we're going to be clicking a little bit earlier today I did the second dungeon um the Adaraxian what I didn't know until recently is you could do this twice. So like, you could do the first dungeon twice on two different characters per week, and then the second dungeon twice um, per week on two different characters. And so what I didn't know was like the Abyssal and Ashton, all this stuff this is like normal, and then Elvia difficulty. So yeah. Anyway, with that said, let's start off some stuff that I want to do. So. Um, what was this? Okay, so we got these, and we're gonna try to make some harpy uh gins if possible. Oh, that's a one. That's a bond. Unlucky, no gins today, but that's okay. One thing we're going to be doing is... Oh, wait, I can't use the central market at this time. We're going to start our journey, though. We've been talking about this for quite a while, and I think it's finally time. So... You guys know how I've been grinding Ash Forest for a long time? Well, not a long time. I'd say I have maybe like 50 hours in it total. You know what we have to show for it? Five Deborah necks. You know what we're going to do with those? We're going to enhance them. And it's actually kind of scary because... Uh, one, they're rare, they're expensive, and... What I wanted to do originally was try to buy it at like pet or try and then just make it myself but it doesn't really sell like it could probably get a pry for like two billion but i figured let's just make it ourselves and yeah i think this is going to be a long journey like i don't particularly need it now it would be nice but if i can get some progress on it first that'd be good so as you guys know enhancing accessories is scary and I think at very best we could get right now it's like two for a pry, duo, try, and tet. Assuming it all goes. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> We're going to have to overstack. Everyone that tells you just use normal stacks for like distos, deborekas, yeah, that's going to be a no. 74 still or 74 percent is still scary by the way so we're going to be using the limited crons that we have i don't even think we can get it to tat even if everything went up so let's see what's a 40 stack it's like 90 percent, right that's not even 90 percent. what in the world Uh, bro, like, I know. Ugh. Ninety is the hard cap, I believe, right? Like, actual hard cap, so putting anything above it does nothing. Let me just 
make sure. Okay, so yeah. Hard cap 58 for. Okay, let's do it. I don't care. <laughs> Okay. Next is a duo. Um, so originally, try to duo on normal accessories. You use a 40 stack. And by normal, I mean normal yellows, that is. Um, I don't trust a 50-50. 75 doesn't really help. But what would I do? Pride of Duo is... Okay, so let me see. If I remember from what my friends did... Pride of Duo, you probably use like... 50-something. Yeah, that doesn't really feel any better, to be honest. But... And then... Oh, thank god. I don't care. Duo is expensive. And then duo to try... I believe... Hold on. Out, just out of wild curiosity. Like, I'm curious to know what this would be on a 85 stack. If I'm going to use a really high stack for try, how much would I go for? I think when I was watching other people do it, Try is probably... Like 80? And just... Just so you know, I do know normal fail stacks is like... 20 to 30 for base, and then... 40 from Pry to Duo, 44 Duo to Try, 110 Try to Tet, and your highest stack for Pen. But with that said, Deborecca is a different... Okay, so... I don't even... Oh wait, I don't even have 865 crons. <laughs> That's like one costume. Like, I can get it, but... I really have to think about what stacks I want to use for that, because, uh... Like... Enhancing Devos is scary, man. But with that said, we have something less dangerous. We got a pry uh, Layton from the Valmachia dungeon that we did earlier. My guildies got, like, duos and dry stuff, but, you know. The first time I did it earlier, I got a base Tungret, or not, uh... Base Crescent it was not that great. Actually, it felt bad. Then the second time we ran it today, I uh, got a pry. All right, we're putting these back in. Putting these back here for now because I don't have the crons. Like, I'm happy nothing failed so far. Just, <laughs> I'll take the duo. We're keeping it. All right, so let's see. Why are Layton so expensive? What in the world? I don't understand.
Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just used that one. Oh, that's fine. I want 40. <laughs> no, actually, whatever. It's 50-50, it's essentially. YOLO. I don't know why I get so stressed out enhancing accessories. But you guys have seen my other videos and me just like wild clicking Tet and Pen Black Stars like it's candy. But then when it comes to accessories, even something that's worth like less than one bill, it's like stressful. Wait for it. Duo to try. You use like. Do it, yeah, do it to try soft cap is 44. Um, I think I'm just gonna, you know, not do that. Well, let's just take the profit. Actually, let's see. Do we, do we want to take 800 or do we want to 40% it for a 2.5? Uh, kind of want to just, I don't know. <laughs> I kind of need the money because as you guys just saw, we're going to be clicking devos. So I think I'm just going to take the money. So overall, what did we make today? Um, whatever this is, 800 plus probably another like one. 130 after taxes. And then obviously we're not selling this, but let's see. How much did we spend? We spent two for base or two for pry, three for duo. So three, that's 1.5 bill just from the accessories alone. And then another I would yeah, I'd say roughly like and then the stacks were higher than normal, so I'd probably say about like two, two point something billion total. And then we got a duo, which is good. I don't care that I overstacked for those depot clicks. It was worth it in my eyes. I just really would like to, if I get carried on anything, please be the Debereka that I go for pen one day. You know what's, like, the scariest thing? Not scary, but, like, it hurts to see. You're cron clicking a tet, and then it just downgrades. I've seen streamers do that. I've seen my guildies do that. And it's just like, I can't. That's going to be me one day, too. It's going to fail. All right, so what are we doing today? So, actually, things I was planning on doing... Where one, maybe not tonight, but we'll be doing it tomorrow, is grinding Sakraya because I heard, well, one, there's a few reasons, because one, I'm running out of frenzies and I need to go grind for more because they're kind of expensive, actually. Watch our frenzies. No, oh, they're actually going down in price. That's nice. I remember paying like 3.5 for them. But yeah, I kind of want to grind my own just because I want to try Sakraya. And then what else do we have? Oh yeah, let's go to let's go to this place because I need to turn this thingy in for our goodies and pick up my new daily buff. We're going to pick up the grind one for tomorrow. But yeah, starting November, we're just going to see like how much silver we can get. I play pretty casually. I don't grind like five or six hours a day. I do like my Marnie hour and then maybe one or two if I'm feeling it extra. Usually I just grind my Marnie hour and gonna go life skill, which I think on average, I would say I make maybe one to two bill a day. Is anyone... This is going to sound like a weird question that not many people can relate to, but for all of you who have a tier 10, do you like the white one or the black and red gold one? 
I'm starting to think I like the default one because it doesn't have the snow effect and like I think it's cool but like when you see it every day and it's just like in your face I'm just like do I care Also, for people who have asked me this from other videos, like my settings, um, basically, if you're trying to use the AMD Fidelity one with uh, FXAA, so here's what you do. So, first of all, you would click Remastered, right? And then, by default, it's going to give you some settings and then set it to, like, TAA or whatever, right? So, what you're going to do is click the Remastered, then, before hitting Apply or Confirm or anything, remastered and then set it like this one and nothing should happen it should just click right and then you set it to whatever one you want um i personally go for quality but it depends what you're doing it doesn't matter and then before you apply and save for anything uh, then you would switch it back to fxaa and then you apply so this is the last thing you do and so you should be able to play um amd with uh, fxaa that has been a weird issue that I don't know why um, doesn't allow you to do it by default, but you don't need any like special things to do it. You just have to click the buttons in a weird order and that's it. Also, I hope you guys are all getting your 10-hour buff daily, because it is actually pretty huge. But yeah, in case you don't know what it does, it's like uh, AP, drop rate, XP, all the good stuff. Alright, so we got these. What do we turn these in at? I think I, I got the two things that are relevant already. So, for all of you who are collecting it and have no idea, uh, what you should be doing with these is you get both of the, like, uh, storage and transaction butlers, and then after that, you just pick whatever you want. I, personally, I'm gonna go for the permanent scroll thingy. I think it's permanent. You know what that's going into? That is going into the Olvia Room of Permanent Scrolls that I'll never use. Along with the Permian Park Summer ones that I'll never use. You guys want to see something cool? How many of you guys have been playing since 2011 and 2012, 20, or 2021 and 2022? The exact same things. Okay, so there's another thing I had to turn in. I think this is in Calpheon itself. Oh yeah, hold on. Uh, I gotta pick up this one. But yeah, hopefully you guys are actually enjoying like my videos of what I do on a daily basis. Because usually I don't record this. It's more just, hey, I'm doing it. So, everyone else does it. Uh, I don't know when Isabella spawns, but usually it's some, at some weird hours where I'm sleeping. And might not even happen. But one thing I actually did want to try, uh, maybe tomorrow, is either Sakraya underwater again. And I know I'm going to be overclearing it. Like, I've overcleared it over years. But either that or go to Jade Starlight Forest again. And the only reason why I'm doing that is because I have Agris that I should probably burn. And I have these blessing thingies. And I think 
Jade Starlight Forest is a very good spot to dump your aggress. So with those coins, I think maybe I can make, what, like... 600 mil an hour in trash, possibly. And that's just trash alone. Oh, you could turn two of these into one of those. Oh, okay. Oh. We definitely need a lot of mythical feathers because uh, our boy here needs a friend and he wants the unicorn friend. You guys want to see something so like, it's not spooky, but it's like eye opening. You see how populated everything is here? Just look at, there's an NPC just, you know, walking upstairs, no big deal. That's kind of weird, but okay. This action is too fast. That happens a lot. What I actually enjoyed doing was traveling the map in the Elvia realm. And I thought it was just really cool just to see it. I also wanted to test something. Do NPCs... Well, nothing... Look how empty it is. It's like... If you were in a zombie or one of those apocalypse movies, you've ever seen those like the zombie apocalypse ones or something, whatever, and you're the last survivor. This is what it feels like, actually. It's kind of like... It's kind of scary in a way. There's no one here. I do want to see if Rift Blossoms actually do spawn here, though. In Elvia. In theory, they should, but... We're about to find out in about two minutes. But yeah, all the enemies that aren't Elvia mobs are gone. I understand why they did that. They would just be, like, duplicating servers if you put everything there. But at least on Elvia, you should add the NPCs, right? Why would you take those away? I can understand taking away the monsters and that aren't Elvia ones, but why the NPCs? It doesn't really make sense. I guess it's probably for server load, which... Yeah, I guess that makes sense now, but... I don't know, it worked before. Wow, it's kind of spooky. It just kind of like did that. Science worked. You know what this means, boys. <laughs> I've never gotten... Well, actually, no, that's not true. It's not that I've never gotten a prior duo from a rift or rift box. It's just they're not common. It's like I get one maybe every six to seven months of doing these weekly. Why are they so expensive? What happened to ogres? I can't believe I just paid 110 for that. That's an ogre ring is like the price of base boss gear now. That's shocking.
But yeah, sometimes I like to do this every now and then. Just to explore the world as if I was the only person left. It's kind of, yeah, cool and scary at the same time. Calpheon if a plague happened, basically. Hey, you know uh, all those people who are like, Oh, I just want to play MMOs solo. I just want to be by myself. No one bother me. Yeah, this is what it's going to be like if that was actually true. Looking at you, Elder Scrolls people who are just like, Elder Scrolls Online should be a single player game. Yeah, like that's Skyrim. No more war. The only thing that's left are Elvia enemies. Even then, no one's here. No, well, I guess uh, like this is bandits, right? Brigati or something. Not really. Those weren't even really worth grinding back in the day when it was limited either. You could always find an open spot there. All the fox that were here before, no longer here. We're just going to go enhance all by ourselves. Oh wait, we can't. The storage keeper is gone. Eh, get wrecked. Can't even do that. Sometimes I forget that I'm on Elvia. Sometimes I'm just like, where are the NPCs? Is my game just loading? Yo, where's the music coming from, though? Now oh, we found something. You know how there's like NPCs and there's like a band over here? But where's this music coming from? I didn't even touch anything. What just happened? No Pearl Abyss, if you watch my videos, uh, can you fix that? Yeah, the band. They're back. Okay, boys. Let's do it. We're at the same dilemma again. And like, do I want to try click that or do I not want to do that? How much does it cost to cron it? You probably should not cron it, by the way. Uh, old man's going for Lunar again. I actually unironically thought about going for a pen Lunar at some point. 427. Yeah, right. Get out of here. For some reason, a duo ogre is literally a hundred mil higher than a duo Layton, which is shocking. Well, we made some decent money today. 
Um, how does this make me feel? Just another day playing BDO. I'm glad we could use multi storage now. It's like one of the greatest functions ever. Oh, before we head out, let's go do this. Let's go light some more silver on fire. That's fun, right? We enjoy doing that. This is why I, uh, I don't have nice things. One day I'll have a Pentungrad. Maybe one day we'll even have a Pendebereka. Maybe we could just tap this all the way to Tet in one go. I had a little bit of expectation there, but I had hope. And then it just says no. Okay. Like 10 mil a click. Oh, okay. Well, just kidding. We'll be back for you. Look, guys. We have five of these at Tet. We have one more. And this is at Gathering. We use that regularly. And then... We have our Sailor's one. So we have seven out of eight Tet Monos clothes. And then we have this one. The stubborn one that won't go Tet. And then once that goes Tet, we have full eight out of eight Tet Monos. And then what we're saving for after that is we're just going to make like, I've been doing some gathering and saving these, right? We're going to save a lot of concentrateds and we're going to try to go for a pen monos close at some point. But uh, I think the bo huge bottleneck is going to be the memfrags more than anything because like getting these not a big deal. Memfrags, the big deal. So, yep. Those are my goals for... November, we're gonna do. You just hit another pen. So yeah, as you guys know, as I said in the beginning, the goals we're starting at, four. Yeah, we'll we'll say we're starting at forty-eight billion because that's what we actually did, and then we're gonna go for. Well, I don't know if we're gonna get a Pentungrad in November, but I want to go as far as I can to get it. Um, of course, we're going to be enhancing a little bit more of our Debereka and hopefully getting it to at least Tet. And then I'm going to hold it. Once we get it to Tet, I'm going to hold it because it's about 11,000 Krons for a Tet to pen. And that's 11 bill a click. And we're trying to save for this. So we have to do things one step at a time. So, Yeah. And then, of course, we're going to be grinding or gathering over the month for more materials, collecting a lot of these, and then maybe go for a 10 monos close. So we have lots of goals to do. Which one we're going to do? I have no idea. Whichever one comes first, to be honest. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time.